What's up everybody? Today we are gonna paint this maxilla. I know that it's a bit interesting, at the same time it's time consuming as well. Here are my drawn casts, so yeah. Get started with two small bowls of water. So I'm gonna use yellow color. the process um, it really took two minutes for me to finish this part alone I have begun with this part as I thought this would be easy for me so yeah secondly I would really recommend the double water method so you will firstly dip it in one bowl and secondly in this bowl I thought this method would be really good and clean enough for those brushes and after finishing this I would really want you to rub them off the buckle cleaning area, I recommend this color. Actually, this is a poster color from Camden. So, yeah. So, kindly make sure you do it for the two sides as well. And please remove this side. So, this is dark green poster paint. This for this part. Comment down below how many times it took you all. For the mid Palantine graphic, I am using the black color. This is an acrylic paint. green for the buckle vestibule region this is the area where you need to be very 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 careful in painting the side this is the area where there is a lot of chances for smudging so please paint patiently I have cleared the process here I have differentiated well this light blue poster color is used for the labial vestibule region this is also another scariest region as there is a lot of probability for smudging. Give it a second touch if desired. I think the white spots will be disappeared if you give a second touch. As always, I always recommend you to use acrylic colors for all those big parts. I used the dark blue acrylic color for the maxillary fibrosity region. Again, blend it with a second touch to make it perfect. I have used acrylic light green color for the incisive papilla. This poster color, which is peach, is used for the hamlar north region on both sides. I recommend using the brown color for the slopes of the residual alveol region as it differentiates between the buccal phenum, the buccal vestibule, the hamlar notch and the maxillary tuberosity region as well. So yeah, you need to be a bit more careful in painting this region. As always, stay patient. This pink color is used for the posterior palatal seat. It is a limiting structure as well, which is also said to be the peripheral structure. I hope giving two coats would be nice for this structure. Now take a photograph and paint the heart palette with your desired color. Here I am using orange acrylic color paint. So after you are done with painting the heart palette, I recommend 
continue to draw the ruby region and paint it red. I hope this big structure would be easy for many people, but I really don't want to get it overlapped with other structures as well. So kindly be patient for this structure as well. And yeah, we have done it. I am focusing this on a high mood for you. So we are going to draw the ruby region to paint it later. I hope the impression is seen. Just make an outline. Red color acrylic paint for the Rugi region. You should be very careful for this as you have marked it with pencil and you are going to just give and please make sure you dab the excess paint over here as it is very thin structure and I hope this is the last part to be painted in this class. Nearly took me a half an hour for me to finish this cast. Let me know in the comment section how much time it took for you guys. Well, this is a practical given for me in Prosto Lab, and I found it really tedious to do and work on it. Comment down below how do you feel as well. And yeah, boom, I have made it. I hope it's going well. So let me touch up the parts where I felt a bit of white spots. Well, I'm a bit unsatisfied with the area of posterior palatal seal. So I'm touching up that. For the fovea palatine region, I'm giving white color. I recommend using a light peach color as well. Again touching up with things. These are the paints used for my oh, cast. A mix of poster colors and acrylic colors. Thank you so much for spending up this much time with me. I hope your casts are really gonna be great. Kindly make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications.